Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. How about the creativity? Guys, terrific vision to pick out that pass and set up the basket. Some serious creativity. Jazz trail by 11. We've got Evan Fournier. Harkless is out there with Gordon. Then there's Boss, and it's O'Quinn in the center. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Magic. Exum kicks to Hood. That three off the mark. Boy, even though he missed, you can't give up that kind of a look very often. Yeah, they're lucky that they didn't get burned on that one. The Jazz shooting under 40% all in all for the game. Exum passes to Burke. He dishes it to Exum. Here's Hood. Six to shoot. High post shot, and it's blocked. And even three on three break. Right wing. The three. Rebounded by Hood. Jazz trail by 11. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. And Gobert kicks to Burke. Dishes it to Exit. Pass to Hood. Burke with it. And it's Gordon picking him up. Gobert the pass to Burke. And Aaron Gordon gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Tough break for the defense. He took the heat and drew the whistle. Yep, but when you get there late, that's what happens. Green, he's checked in for Gordon. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Exum with a wide open look. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single digit lead. So it's Orlando now. At one point, they led by 16. Boss, Burke covering. O'Quinn, the pass to Boss. Six on the shot clock. Oh! <laughs> Utah calls timeout. You know, one thing you like when you look at this young jazz team is the size that's already in place there. Not only size, but good, young, strong players that have some athleticism. And that will serve you well when you do make your way to the playoffs because it allows you to play on playoff type basketball, which is usually more physical and played more in the half court. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. I was able to listen in on what Quinn Snyder was going over with his team. He hasn't been happy with their shot selection. He told them we're forcing things out there, guys. Space the floor, make the extra pass, work for the open shot in the flow of our offense. We'll see if they heed that advice, Kevin. And many of the Jazz players travel to a training center in Santa Barbara, California in the offseason. They work on their athleticism and explosiveness and they get some impressive results. In fact, you look at the athletes in the NBA today, the training methods far more advanced than in the days before. Offensive rebound, Booker. Nice ball movement by Utah. Exum with it, pass to Hood. And Burke has it in the corner. A three-pointer is right on target. Boy, they're doing a nice job, a really good job of getting second chances here. And that's a, that's a great way to cut into that lead. I mean, nothing is more demoralizing to a defense than putbacks. To the inside, it's stolen by Gobert. Got a piece of it. Harkless the pass to Boss. Banked in off the glass. Boss has got seven points for the quarter. He has really punished these defenders today. No matter who's been on him, he's been given a medicine. To the wing on the left. 
Exum with a wide open look. A three pointer off the mark. Magic leading by 11. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three point play. Now he's one of the best in the league when it comes to executing that lead pass. Vucevic checked in for the Magic. Fry comes in for Heartless. Utah also making some changes. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Hood, and Alec Burks subbed in for Exum. Although the season record wasn't the best for the Magic, they were pleased with the leadership they had in place. Yeah, they extended the coach even after a down year, and that sat well with both the players and the staff. The confidence in Jacques Vaughn. Yeah. Orlando's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Here's Boss. Here's Vucevic. And he makes good on the way. And the Magic lead by 14. He's enjoying himself today, guys. We knew going in that he had have the upper hand on the glass, but I didn't think it would make this much of a difference. To the inside. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. I like that they're taking it inside and taking advantage of each opportunity Clark to chip away at the deficit yeah and doing it with the dunk is a major energizer too gets the momentum going yeah and I think the interior defense is good a job offensively as we saw the defensive presence was almost non-existent and they may see this lead disappear if they continue to give up those easy points Burke kicks to Burks and again it's Utah that's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he drains those. Magic leading by 13. Boss, Burke covering. Green left side. He feeds it to Fry from deep. And again, it's the Magic from deep. This defense is giving their shooters free reign to operate from behind the arc. That's right. I think it's time for them to start closing down. You've got to run shooters off that three-point line. Burke dishes to Burks. They set the pick. Off the pick. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Boy, that's some physical basketball out there. I'm glad I'm not in the middle of that. <laughs> a hard pick and an assault on the buck. Old school stuff there. Yeah, there was a lot to like on that play. Here's Boss. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Hayward, powered down after the assist, let him into the lane. The defense just couldn't recover in time. Yeah, the D pretty much went brain neutral on that one, Clark, wouldn't, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, sir, I, I like that phrase. Yeah, I don't use that phrase very often, but to me, that's what happened. He shifted the, the brain to neutral. Yes, he did. <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> Here's Boss, rebounded by the Jazz. Gobert's got rebound number five here tonight. Hayward gets to Burke. Fader on the way. Misses off the left iron. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. There's the pick. Boss passes to Fournier. Cranes the three-pointer. And the Magic lead by 15. And this is what they wanted, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. And I think it can be considered a, a statement win for the Magic. Tonight, they seem committed to the three-point shot. That certainly was their main meal, their bread and butter, if you will. And I think a great job in positioning themselves for the W here. It's win number 21 on the season. And because they play in different conferences, guys, this is the last time these two teams will face each other. It's got to be a good feeling that getting the clean sweep, finishing the season 2-0 against the Jazz. Fantastic show put on. What an amazing game all around it was for Boss. Every time he shot it seemed like it was just going to drop in, and nobody was surprised. And the shot is good. And the fans loving what's transpired here tonight. A really good victory for these guys. Sure was. I mean, they did just what they needed to do to keep the visitors from getting any momentum going at all. Burke dishes to Hayward. Kicks it to Burks. Feeds it to Gobert. And it's Orlando with the rebound. 
And they can just dribble the ball until the buzzer. Yeah, exactly. They got to be happy with the outcome here. Elated, you're right. There's 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Six to shoot. Outside, green. And again, it's the magic from deep. Well, this is going to seal the deal. They've really exploded here to the finish line. You know, once they sniffed out that blood in the water, the killer instinct came right out. And so it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. Some days, Clark, everything goes right for a team, and they just had one of those games. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, these guys played a great all-around basketball game here. Well, it's time to say so long. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to present our Jordan Player of the Game, Boss.